this is one of our outboard spindle adapters we make for the Haas TL lathes. This particular one is a clamp style and is used for the 2016 or newer A25 spindles. This is used to attach a 5C collet chuck to the outboard side of the spindle which in turn holds our live swivel coolant shaft to deliver high pressure coolant through the barrels when chambering. I've had the lathe work done for these parts for quite some time just getting around to camming it up for the fifth axis. This is a dual purpose fixture I made to hold small parts in an ER40 collet as well as to hold these outboard spindle adapters it fits right on to my rock lock base from fifth axis. The lathe work for these parts was done on my ST15Y. So I was able to add the interface features right in the lathe in order to mount to this fixture. The features are also used to mount the 5C collet chuck to the outboard spindle adapter. I'm able to completely finish my bolt-on spindle adapters in the lathe, but I just run out of milling capability for these features in the lathe. I decided to probe the length of each part due to some variation in length between two batches of parts in the lathe. I'm running a really light cut here due to the length of cutter engagement near the end of these slots. I sure have been enjoying the fifth access capabilities of this machine. But I will admit I have a long way to go and a lot to learn. But I'm super thankful to even have the opportunity to work with this technology. <music> This is an example of one of the things I haven't figured out yet. During this tool break detection, I don't actually want the A-axis to rotate up, but I haven't figured out how to stop that from happening yet. For those not familiar, the probing being done after the tool is used is to check if the tool broke during that operation which in turn would stop the program before the next tool that needs to enter a feature that's not there is broken. Here I tried tapping with chip break feature in order to reduce the long strings that could get wound up around the tap. Worked pretty good. This was my first time trying that feature. This is the first run of this part. So you can see my hand is setting on the feed hold. Here you'll notice the C axis rotating incrementally. Not sure why that's doing that. It just does it during a rapid move. When using a wrapped toolpath, it might be because I have not purchased the manufacturing extension yet for Fusion 360. Thanks for watching, and if you want to see some more videos like this, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up or leave a comment on what you'd like to see in the future.